Hey guys, it's me, Sierra, aka the Nerd Girl Review, and I am back with an unexpected video to both you and me. Because if I'm gonna be honest, I had like zero intention of ever making another booktube video, but I'm here nevertheless. Why? I don't. I don't really know. Well, I kind of know. So I've had this like craving to do a lot more reading lately because I've had a lot of free time, and in that free time. I spent way too much time just watching pointless YouTube videos, not even like watching TV or anything, just like YouTube, and not even booktube, just like random YouTube sh videos. But anyway, I've had like this craving to read, and I've noticed in the past that I always tend to do a lot more reading whenever some sort of like reading marathon comes around. So it's that time of the year where booktube a is happening. And so I thought, okay, well, despite not being really actively involved in booktube anymore, I thought I'd go ahead and give it a whirl once again, because why not? So what is booktube -thon? I'm not going to explain it, because if you're here, I'm assuming you know what it is, but if you don't know what it is, I'll leave a link down in the description down below explaining where you can find all that info and whatnot. But basically, it's a reading marathon put on by Ariel Bassett and others where people from booktube and bookstagram read and do different sorts of challenges and make videos and it's it's a lot but it doesn't have to be a lot like i'm doing it basically i'm just using this as an opportunity to get more reading done i'm not really sure if i'll even make any of the challenge videos we shall see i i have this camera and i want to use it more often so maybe i'll do it especially since i have a lot more free time than i thought i would have so maybe I'll do that. But anyway, today I thought I'd come at you with my TBR of the books that I'm going to be reading. Most of them are going to be either ebooks or audiobooks, so I don't have the actual physical book to show you. But I'll have pictures or something that I'll put up so you can physically see what I'm going to read. But there are seven challenges, so just in order I'm going to go through what I'm going to read. So the first challenge is let a coin toss decide the first read. So I did that off camera because I didn't want a chance having to do it on camera because there's a good chance I might have messed up. How? I'd find a way. But so the first book I'm going to be reading is The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. And this is actually my school's book of the summer that we're trying to read. Well, one of them, there's, there's two books we're trying to read, but that's besides the point. Our, our book club is reading this book and so I'm kind of glad that I flipped it so now it gives me like the motivation to reading to read it because I've had it for a while on my TBR even before we had the book club and I just, I don't know I haven't gotten around to it the movie looks like it could be pretty interesting too so I don't know maybe I'll read it though I think we're supposed to watch the movie together as a group I don't actually know what we're doing but anyway I'm, I'm glad that's out of the way but basically, it's about a girl in like a zombie apocalypse, I think, if I'm remembering it properly. I don't know. We'll both find out. Challenge number two is read a book about something you want to do. And so I'll be reading Roomies by Christina Lauren. And I discovered this book on Witty Novels or Whitney's channel. Uh, she and kind of enjoyed this book and so I thought I would give it a whirl and the reason why this book is under the category of something I want to read a book about is a helicopter. I live near several major hospitals so there's always like medical helicopters but um this book is set in New York City and like that's the end goal for me that's really where I want to live and so I thought I'd apply that to this but basically it's like a rom-com type book if I understand the synopsis properly but anyway on to the third challenge number three is read and watch a book to movie adaptation and I will be reading Vampire Academy by Michelle Reed I've already read this book before I've read the first four books in this series and watched the movie before but as a part of this year I've been trying to reread some of my old favorite books to determine if they're like still my favorites and Vampire Academy is one of the books on this on the list so I thought you know I might as well go ahead and just walk read it and then watch it again so I'm really excited to do it again because I remember absolutely loving these books but stopping reading them because 
if I get too invested in a book and I don't like where it's going, then I just stop. And so that's how I kind of felt after like that fourth book. And so I don't know. I'm just going to read the first book for the challenge, but maybe I'll finally have the motivation to read the entire series. I basically know what happens, but like it's different knowing what happens and then like actually reading what happens. So the fourth challenge is read a book with green on the cover. And I will be reading The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This has been on my TBR for a long time, ever since before it even was released. But there's something small and green on the cover. I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's a leaf or something, but that's technically green, so I'm going to count it. But I absolutely love Holly Black's books. She made me actually really enjoy Faye before reading her books. I absolutely hated the idea of Faye. I hated books with Faye, but she, you know, really made them enjoyable for me so I'm really excited to read this book especially since it's not a standalone which I didn't know that it was not a standalone. So number five is read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. So as you can all see, well not all of you, some of you might just be listening to this, but for those of you who are watching, I, I have curly hair, I have my natural hair, it's very big, it's very fluffy, I cannot put a hat on this. So instead of wearing a hat I'm just going to wear my extremely large bonnet that I wear when I go to sleep so uh, I'll be reading in, in a bonnet which is like kind of a hat but the book for this is called The Countess this is the only physical book I have The Countess by Rebecca Johns and this is about like some Hungarian woman who like kills her female servants. I don't actually know. It's historical fiction, which I don't actually like historical fiction most of the time. I was going to say all the time, but that's not true. Most of the time I don't enjoy historical fiction. So this is going to be interesting to see if maybe I do like historical fiction more than I thought I did. And maybe this will open me up into reading other books. Doubtful, but we'll see. And so that was the fifth challenge. Number six is read a book with a beautiful spine. And for this, I will be reading The Wicked Deep by Shay Ernjohn. Shay Ernjohn. I'm I'm probably butchering that, but the cover will be up so you can see her name. But um, I don't actually own this book in like a physical copy, so I don't actually know what the spine looks like. But the cover looks really cool, so I'm just gonna assume that the spine's cool. But this is like a paranormal book with like witches and stuff and I absolutely like love that genre. I'd say hands down it's my favorite genre so I'm really excited to get into that book as well. And then every year for the number seven final challenge it's read seven books. And so for this book, I will, for this challenge, I will be reading Till Death by Jennifer L. Armantrout. I absolutely love Jennifer L. Armantrout. I enjoy her paranormal stuff more than her like normal contemporary romance stuff which is why I've been putting this one off for so long but I decided you know it's time to, to get it over with just read it I'm sure I'll either really love it or I fucking hate it we'll see but um I'm going to read that I don't actually know what it's about but I know it's not paranormal which is why I haven't read it but those those are all the books I'm going to read hopefully I enjoy them all I've done booktube a I think two times before. Never have I finished, I don't think I finished it before, so we'll, we'll try to see if I can finish it. I don't think I have anything important that I need to be doing in my free time where I can't read. It's just a matter of will I have the motivation to read. And so, yeah, it'll be a journey and a half. But I may or may not make the challenge videos we'll see. I've also debated making like vlog videos for reading these. We'll see if that happens too. It's, it's all about motivation. I sometimes have motivation to do a lot of things and sometimes that motivation just goes away completely so we shall see but tell me what you think about the books down below in the comments if you've read them you know let me know what you thought of them and if you think you know they're good books for this uh, readathon but other than that um, who knows when you'll see me next so Bye.